Hey guys, and welcome back to The Invincible, an amazing sci-fi thriller game play played by myself, Twitchy, doing the role of Yasna, an astrobiologist who went to cryo sleep, woke up in a desert, now all my crew are missing, what's going on? I don't know, but I've fallen down into the middle of the planet and it's pretty tough. Yasna loses strength and hopes to get back. She unexpectedly meets Dr. Kruta, who helps her escape from the underground. Unexpectedly met him because we put him on a, um, a spaceship that sent him back to the mothership. Why is he in underground? I don't actually know, but he did manage to talk to me enough for me to get up here and tell me that it was indeed an honor to serve with me and, and in you Dr. Kruta it has been an honor to serve with you. Ooh, we are on a weird weird desert planet where there are these metal growths everywhere. Something is wiping my, my crew's brains. Uh, they've wiped out a bunch of androids, or like an android, I suppose. Uh, two crew members, maybe three. One of them's dead. Like, things are getting bad out there. Uh, I, I'm here. Uh, I report the comms are back. I report that the comms are back. Get a nice little, like, um, dialogue repeat, choice there. The line is working again. Hey, Novik. Thank you very Sir, much. I saw Crowter. I did. I saw him. He's in the med bay, though. Uh, I don't quite understand myself. All right. Let's leave that for now. Are you injured in any way? Uh, no. As usual, I came out of trouble unscathed. I mean, unscathed, uh, mentally tarnished. So we call it a blessing in disguise. <laughs> I'm not calling it anything until I'm out of here, sir. All right, good choice. We will indeed talk later. Oh, have I just been caved in? Oh. Gaming cliche number 76. Uh, yeah, I'm here. What is that? I guess I'm... Oh, my God. What the... What is this? What kind of deadly shit is this? What on earth? What are you talking about? There is like a tripod thing. Here. It looks like a machine. Like a serious. It's burned a hole in the wall. <laughs> and now it's marching on these kind of crab legs. Crab legs. <laughs> Look, it melted its way out. I can't. How am I supposed to make it? Do you know where what this is? I don't reckon. I recognise that dang thing. Actually, I recognise this noise. It's the damn thing that dropped me underground. Really? Very likely. I even have a suspicion of what exactly we're dealing with. <laughs> Tell me then. Tell me. Machines of the Alliance would match the description. Walking antimatter cannon. Antimatter. Oh, fuck. Well, yeah, indeed. That's a bit of troubles. That's yes, not what we. are Okay. I keep agreeing with Any the progress? Astrogator guy, and I don't like it. Not at the moment. It didn't notice me. It made this noise. It's extremely loud. So maybe that's a good thing. It drowns out my movements. Please remember it is not human. Hearing isn't really a factor. With like isolated visuals, it doesn't have thermal imaging. It might not have registered your presence at all. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. How does he know so much about? Oh, I suppose it's the enemy vessel, right? That they would know about it. I think it's moving away from. Is it? Mo Look at the spike on that! Oh my gosh, it's gonna hurt. Don't stop yet, though. Uh, how did the Alliance get here soon? I wonder. Yeah, how did they get here? The better. How is it possible that the Alliance machine got here before us? Yeah, I thought the, the Invincible was supposed to be, like, if miles off. If I was correct and Invincible already landed on Regis 3, it would have a huge advantage over us. So why would they confront our ship head on? <laughs> Instead, they waste time on some shady diversion. Exactly. Oh. It makes no sense from a strategic point of view. They must be lucky. I think they're looking for something here. I wouldn't be so sure. If the Alliance had been searching the area, they wouldn't have sent a lone anti man to do it. It's not a machine you let loose. And yet, it's walking freely. That's it. Like, logic says one thing, but look at what's in front of me. Oh. Shit. I'm in trouble. It's here. I have to, I have to leave. Let's go. Oh, uh, what, what am I stuck by? Oh, it's coming at me. I don't think it sees me. I think I should just keep quiet. It's getting closer. It's getting closer. It's gonna crush me. Can, I can't move. I'm trying. I've got nowhere to run. Oh, here comes the probe. No, not Olga. Anyone but Olga. Oh no. 
It, it seems to be going after... Oh, mate. No. Oh. I am so not about what just happened there. We must evacuate you. Uh, I don't know how to... Put... The probe did something. I'm okay. The probe did something. I don't know what that something was. As if... I don't know. I don't know. I saw the readings, gave a distress signal, and then followed a series of directives that I didn't implement. Currently, it does not respond to commands. <clears throat> I'll check on it. Well, I'm going to check on this damaged machine first. I guess it's busted for good. Can we get inside? Is there a way in? Can I open it? <sighs> I found a box. What's in the box? What's in the box? Also a switch. Throw the switch. Oh, I don't know. Can you get the record? I'll try. Let's see. I'm a little bit worried. I'm a little bit like, personally, if I made some sort of like ridiculous war machine with a bunch of antimatter cannons in it and stuff, surely when it goes down, you want a self-destruct mechanism to come through. Is that is that not what you want? Is that not you? That's right, sir. The alliance is indeed already on the planet. Okay, so who's this guy? This is so new, and I see the word stab, 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 stab on the side. I'm a little bit worried about that. Okay, let's turn to the next page. So there's a they guy. They managed to set up a fill base. Oh no, like a whole base. Oh, the headquarters have got it so wrong. According to intelligence, the invincible was not due to arrive for another 14 days. Uh, I guess we should ask them back home. Guess we should. I don't think they're going to answer though. I feel like there's going to be. Oh look, they've got a little rover out and about, and oh, there's stuff going on on the planet. What what have we got here? More roving around, but this time going into the city. Okay, that's good. They uh, they moved around. There's shadows and stuff like that. Okay, they they they're, they're poking in through tight spaces. Uh, there's a rover around somewhere. I think that's the thing I'm taking note of there. But also, if we have a look at the bottom of the screen, you can see there are um, journals and stuff littered everywhere. And also, on the left-hand side, a lot of the information is blanked out. I think, I think things have gone wrong for them at this point. I think maybe whatever it was that came and wiped out my crew has also gone and got these guys' crew. And that's me. Yep, just led down there. Wow. It really did almost flatter me. I, you can tell it saw me because I've got a box around my face. Okay, and then the last thing we see... Oh, did that? Did they send that back? Has that made it back to their their their, their Pro, crew? It it distracted the antimats. Just long enough. You say that as if it did it on purpose. It felt like it did. It really felt like it did. That's because that's what I think. How else to explain it? Coincidence. I don't believe in such coincidences, Astrogator. It's a bit strong, right? Okay, so what's on the next world we got here? Oh, that... Oh. Oh. I mean, that's a bit explicit. That's a bit graphic. They should have they should have warned us about that. That's a probe being shredded to pieces. I, I, was, I was not ready. Especially... Like, I built up quite the bond with Olga over here. Let, let's be honest. Me, me and that robot have been through a lot already. Oh, I don't want to look. Oh, I don't want to look. Okay, let's go and have a look. I can't run. I've got I've got no run skills. I guess my I guess my legs are a little bit Not bad. Not much left of it. The probe was broadcasting a while ago, so maybe we can save its call. Maybe. How do I get the call? Look at this. It just like vaporized the whole half of it. That that is crazy. There's a bit of an egg in there. Let's have a look. What have we got? Can we can we can we save some stuff? Oh my, I, d I don't know what, what order to do this in. Let's start up top. Let's start up top. What have we got? We've got a whole bunch of records. I'll take those records. Thank you very much. What, what was, what's in them, though? Uh, we can see me. Since I found the probe, I haven't been alone. No, no, no. I'm sorry, Yasna. Maybe it can still be rebuilt. I feel like I lost enough companion. No need to declare it's just a machine. I'm just a little sad. You don't have to comfort me. I'm a little sad. The probe was a good companion. But that's all. Sometimes you have to allow yourself a moment of weakness to regain strength. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. I'm, I'm, I'm willing to, to mourn the loss of the probe and then move on, you know. Hey, who's this lifting off? Oh, this is all the stuff that we... Look, look, this is me getting Kovac out. Kovac? I can't remember his name. There's me being chased by the probe. Look, it's recognised me and recognised the anti -mat. You can tell because there's a square around the thing. You know, like person... Uh, face tracking and stuff. 
Right, uh, and, uh, and again, and this this is it. Oh, oh, that's that's brutal. This is the final view just before it fired the antimatter laser. Actual brutal, actual brutal. Um, okay, did I not get to hold the core underneath? Yeah, here, here. This is what we want. Let's try. Let's try and save this. This is like its brain. I'm guessing a positronic brain. It okay. kind of has to be. It cooled down. Did it cool down? I mean, I, I, you should hope so. About the huh. huh? Yeah, good oh, words. They say in order to win over a person, you have to steal their heart. Okay, but the cool. key is to get their brain. The, you know the key is just a metaphor. Anatomically incorrect and highly overused, yes. But it works here. It works in this okay. situation. Time to get out of here. So Olga, you're great. I love you. Thank you so much. But I do need FTP file transfer protocol number two. Is that is that really what's happened here? I don't think so. Alright, so we've got some Burnout Ruins? I think that's the word I'm going to go with. We've got some Burnout Ruins. Now, I did see a little bit of a passage back here somewhere for us to go for a walkthrough. There is a chasm. Yet another chasm. I feel like we could climb down there. There's almost a ladder, but we're not going to do that. Not good. Go what are we talking about? What is that this time? Tell me. Stormfront is approaching your location. Oh, man, those storms. Now of all times. I know, Doctor. But please muster up a little more strength. Let's not forget that the Alliance is in the vicinity. I feel Dave dizzy. Wait a minute. Right. Do you have any specific expectations of me? Since I'm nearby their troops. It's hard to call them specific. We need to learn more. You're missing the most important thing, sir. We still have to save Gorski. By far the most important thing. I like look at look I, at my vision. I don't know what your silence means. Uh, I was going to tell you later. Yeah. I'm really sorry. What? His readings. No. No, don't finish. Impossible. That, that's impossible. We spent so much effort you saving him. Everything you could. We really did. Sometimes even that's not enough. I did. Nothing. You gave him your oxygen. You pulled him out of the out of the floor like Yasna. Yeah, that's a bit strong. I'm <laughs> terrible. Are you asking about? I mean, the lack of your oxygen tank. So, how are you feeling? Terrible. Absolutely terrible. Been hallucinating. I've already experienced what Doctor Crowther referred to as mild cerebral symptoms. He even participated in them. Yeah. I had a long and tiring conversation with him. It was very boring. Please don't ask for details. It got me up the hill, though. I have to agree. Like he, like he tried to reverse psychology me. I was like, no, 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 that's not gonna work. And then I was like, well, actually, it did work. And we got up the hill when we walked, um, which, which is fine. Which is fine. Uh, okay, what are we going to? Look oh, that way, this way. I don't know. We're 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 going in a direction. I'm expecting to find somewhere a breach into the surface. Like, so did he? Did that machine melt its way through, and then all this has been left behind, or is this an ancient tunnel? It's hard to tell. It is hard to tell. It does look like it's been a little bit excavated, but at the same time, the metal walls speak to me as if... Ooh, I, don't, I don't know which way I'm going, and I'm, I'm very blurry of face. But the metal walls speak to me as if, like, maybe it was made by whatever made the metal. That that could be the thing. Damn it. What? Hey. The storm's getting worse. Is it? That's, that's terrible. The, and the worse the storm is, the more I like to black out. It's very dark. It's all gone dark. Where am I? Are, are we are we in the same spot? Have I blanked out for like seven years? And, and and now we're actually in a different place on the on the planet. It could be. It does keep happening to me. I I keep passing out and we wake up in a different place and Yasna's just like, huh, happened again. Uh, but that that's that's pretty bad. Rain? In the desert? The water falls from the sky? Crazy. I mean, I, I know the water does fall from the sky in the real desert, but, but, but still, this is this is crazy. It's a tunnel. It looks like it's been stuck here for a while. Uh, like a long while. Look at these wheels. The light inside works. Should we try it? Do I try? Wait, 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 wait. Where's all the journals and stuff on the picture? 
No, there, there was. Uh, let's open the tracker. See if there's anything for us it's to look. Clear. Nothing to see here. No one's coming out on me. I'm all alone. All, all alone on the planet. Uh, I was hoping to meet someone. It's just tiredness. Yeah, I'm just tired. Not disappointment. But tiredness. I'm getting. I'm getting inside the robot. Are you surprised? Can I open this? There's no one inside either. Yeah, I mean, we can see that. We can see that from the outside. I think I'm going to get in. I, I think we're just going to steal this rover. It's the enemy rover after all. Can I get, can I get in in? I, I, I don't know about you, but I don't feel... What was that? Yes. But I still have to pop back outside. Let's check something. I th is this really what I want to do? Is is this really it? Like you see a shadowy figure suddenly appear in the in the lightning, and you're like, yeah, I'm gonna get out and check that. You're in, you're inside a nice little car. It can drive you home. You're like, actually, ghost story. It's time for, time to investigate. Yeah. No, nothing there. Nothing. It it wants me outside. Okay, okay, okay. What am I supposed to be looking for? Wait, uh, tracker. Anything on the tracker? Nothing on the tracker. Anything on the metal detector? Uh, I mean, this is on the metal detector. Don't see anything around. Spin around. Anything behind me? <laughs> I actually feel pretty jumpy about what's going on around here. So it won't let me back in the rover. Uh, well, I mean, it lets me back in the rover, but it won't let me drive the rover out of here. Uh, so we're going to just have to go on a little explore. I'm not sure if it wants me to explore this way. Let's put this metal detector away. I'm not sure if he wants me to explore this way. No, that's, a, that's an invisible wall, so it's not that. Finally. Finally what? Fi finally what? what? What are we finally at? Like, there's big big letters up on the side there. Finally. Over here. What's this? What have you got? What have you got? Huh. Got, it. got what? What? What are you talking about? Okay, handy. Yeah, why didn't you? Yeah, everyone, everyone needs oxygen. Okay, so I'm, I'm doing better. Yes. Yes. Oh, that's what I needed. Okay. Time to hit the road. Time to hit the road. So. As I do in between episodes, uh, I went and looked up methane poisoning. I was like, surely, I've, ne I've not heard of this before. Surely the game wouldn't just make something up like that. No, the only poisoning you get from methane is the displacement of oxygen and like, the fact that you, you can't breathe because the methane has pushed all the oxygen out of the way. Anything going on there? No, okay, can I, can I go this way? Thank you very much. I would have liked to have closed the door. I don't, I don't like the fact that it's not letting me close the door. Um... So, so yeah, interesting that this game has just made something up like that. Started. Despite it's supposed to be a hard side fight. Curse head. I wish I'd closed the door. Oh, oh cutscene, cutscene. This is good. I like this. Are you driving? I will be. Uh, I'm going. Please talk. How are the conditions? I'm Terrible. Going. Please talk to me. And maybe that will calm me down. Okay, it's just standard driving. Lightning. Really? Doesn't flow through worried. the body. That's not how Faraday cages work at all. Damn oasis of peace. And there are exceptions, you know. Are there? Such as the windshield shattering at high voltages. Doesn't stress me out at all. Okay, no stress here, no stress here. We're just driving through a barren, empty planet. Wow, that's clever. A true Frankenstein monster, so to speak. Even more terrifying were the creatures we found on the surface of Eden. Oh, wait. Creatures? Just creatures on Eden? What? You are making this up, aren't you, sir? Not at all. I was indeed on a mission to Eden. However, I might have exaggerated a bit. 
Might have, might have. Like, what, what, what are we talking about? Like, you know, having to salvage a ship that, that crashed, and now he's like, ah, oh, actually, none of that really happened. What, what are you on about? Um, I don't know if this is places where I've walked, or like, cause, cause that, but that junction that we went past just back there kind of felt a little bit familiar. Uh, and now this way, I'm not sure if we've been here before. I would kind of like to get my map. Oh look, if we press V, ah, oh, we could change the camera to an outside view. This feels so much better, so much better. Uh, it's a, a long-running conversation between me and one of my friends. Hey, Forrest, how's it going? Hey, whether it's... this is a better view or whether this is a right better way. view. Um, You've got to head southwest. How am I supposed to know where Southwest yeah, which way? is? What? I don't have a compass, remember? The city attracts lightning, so the fewer flashes on the horizon, the better. Fewer flashes on the horizon. How far am I from the city's border? Now, considering how fast you're moving, if you're heading straight to the destination, as long as no structures collapse... You don't know, do you? It's not that simple. There are too many unknown variables. Ah, uh, sounds like you don't know. I'm not sure if this is the here. I kind of, I kind of want to get out and look. You know, I will kind of. We, we've got a here over there. Uh, I, I guess we're going to follow the here. Oh, look at the flashing though. Uh, I don't want to go to the here this way. Oh, there's a lot of, a lot of Status. disconcert. How are you doing, Yasna? Uh, I'm alive. I'm still alive. Disconcerting oh, things that say this way, weak. this way. You know. Unfortunately, yes, but it's hardly surprising. I am not sure. It keeps saying not towards the flashing. Here it is, a passing. But that's that's towards the city, right? I don't know. There's more flashing over that way. Let, let, let's let's just follow the thing that kind of looks like it's in the right direction. Oh, big jumps, big jumps, big jumps. We're fine. We're fine. This this is hardened exploration I'm stuff. Into a cave. Equipment. The storm has subsided. Has it all? This, that's quite some bouncy wheels. I'm surprised, even though they are mesh tires, that they can, can deal with what we've got for pushing it through here. What's going to happen on the other side? I found a place to hide. A Faraday cage? Uh, that's not it. I left the structures behind. It's an ordinary rock formation. Even better. You have to catch a breath eventually. Yeah, now, now uh, seems like the time. Thing. Could you find the model number of the rover? <sighs> what for? I've got an idea, but it depends on the model. Uh, th this looks like it. Emmet 2001? Uh, Emmet 2001. ATR 12. Well, could that be it? Uh, let me see. Bingo. Emmet. Emmet. equipped with the black box. Could yeah. you find it? What this? No, that's that's radio. Data logger. I have the box, but it's all locked up. Of course it is. Really? Uh, must have changed the equipment because I have no information about a key. Where did you even get a catalogue of their gear from, sir? And anyway, it doesn't matter. Huh. What should I do? Well, One second. That's a very pertinent question. Why did we just not matter? Help. But the Alliance labels black boxes as data loggers. Yeah. Eureka. Access. Look for something resembling a socket, a plug. I think I have something like that. Then you can connect to the probe's brain there. Uh, presto. What? Oh, sorry, wait, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. I've got Olga's brain and you're telling me just to hook it up to some enemy equipment? It won't work. These inputs are not compatible with Commonwealth plugs. I imagine. From the outside, our equipment is different, but inside we have the same guts, so to speak. The cable on the back of the box should already fit. Same guts, hey? Just like with humans. Just like humans. Cable on the back of the box. Is there one back there somewhere? Am I going out? I feel a little lost. I feel a little lost. Okay, yeah, we're just going to rip out some wires from the back here, are we? Okay, we've plugged okay, Olga in. in. Is she going to just start just driving? I well done, Doctor. I'm receiving a signal. So, what now? You can there. finally rest. It'll take me a while to dig through all the records. Okay, I think rest sounds like a great idea. Uh, this station mark. The rover was connected to a base. The one from the slides. Um, yeah, probably. probably. Let's be honest. Where else is it going to come from? Um, on off. I don't think I want to do the on off quite yet. 
three, four, five. Oh, okay, so I can go through different radio stations and then we can turn it on here. Okay, there's nothing but static on one. No one is transmitting from the base. Number two is the base. Number three is nothing. Four is nothing. On the Five other channels, all I hear is static. The storm must be causing interference. I'm going to leave it on the base, just so if they do start talking to each other, I can hear down. it. I'm way ahead of you. Um, I don't know if I can fall asleep. It may not be that simple. I'm too tired to sleep. Yeah, I know that paradox all too well. Can I help you somehow? Let's have a chat about... Tell me what you saw in the underground. Oh, you know more about the Allies than you know. Maybe I'll fall asleep if we talk. Naturally. Do you have anything specific in mind? Well, I'd love to know some official secrets about the Alliance base. That'd be nice, right? It's the reason they're interested in this desiccated, bizarre planet that is Regis Three. Are you implying that I should know these secrets? That you seem to. Yes. I think you're hiding something from me, sir. And at this stage of the mission, I lack both the strength and the inclination to beat around the bush. In that case, let me reveal something I should never say to <laughs> command. I'm making it up as I go along. I have no idea what's going on on this desiccated, fossilized egg. Why is it an egg? I don't know where the Alliance forces came from, why they came, or what they're doing here. Since we lost contact with the camp, I've had the feeling that I am deep in the dark. I think yeah, we're both deep in the too. dark, mate. Quite literally. So I suggest we talk about something else instead of getting ahead of ourselves. Okay, we okay. What can we talk about? Subject, why did you become an astronaut? And you, why? Um, why did I become an astronaut? Let's, let's talk about me. I even applied for this job. It's probably because because when I was three years old. My father and I stepped out into the garden to gaze at the stars. Just when you were three. And I cried. <laughs> Stupid, right? Were you afraid of the dark? The big. Sort of. It felt like I was falling upwards. Being pulled in by the starry sky. The cosmos turned out to be so infinitely vast. And I was so infinitely small. And I didn't understand any of it. Why am I here? Why is everything here? What is it for? <laughs> and you never understand. I couldn't find an answer. So I cried. Great. You became an astronaut because the cosmos terrifies you. Yeah. No. Because someday I want to understand. Or at least find as many answers as possible. And finally stop being afraid. You won't come close to knowing everything. Trust me. I've tried. I'm not fooling myself. Someday, maybe I'll just know enough. And what would be enough? Uh, the Fermi Paradox comes to mind. And you, why did you... Let's go talk about the astronaut. Here. And you? Why did you become an astronaut? In my case, there are two answers to this question. You two reasons. And what is? As cadets, we participated in a series of meetings. Yeah. HQ organized them to encourage potential recruits. We all said the same thing, just a little different. We all wanted to push the boundaries of human potential, discover what is undiscovered. Remembering childhood memories when we first heard about the brave forces of the Commonwealth. Sometimes these speeches were already being prepared during the training, if you understand what I mean. Oh, yeah, yeah, the yeah. astronaut wished to explore space. They had to wish that. But my reason, an honest reason, not a nice sounding memory that never happened. I've never been able to find my place. Oh, you feel lost. So I came to the conclusion that I would not find it anywhere except out here. In space. And you've still not found your place. Exploring. Such lofty ideas as expanding human limits were of little interest to me. It was among my crew that I... Oh, I was, ri I was interested and I'd fallen asleep. What is this? Terrible. Terrible. Not good. Get a break. What is that this time? Really? Why can't I hear us? Wait. Astrogator, can you explain to me what I'm hearing right now? This is a recording from the rover. The Alliance has apparently broken the encryption of our radio channel. Oh, bollocks. Ah, uh, they've got us. So what do we do? We need to change the frequency and encryption key. Easy. Easy. What's the meaning? What's the point? As soon as you give me a new channel, they will overhear us and change it as well. Just look at the probe's brain. 
Olga? What's with... All you have to do is watch it closely. I'm switching now. Okay, I'm watching. Waiting for you to join. Oh, I see. The new frequency is... Let's be quiet. Let's not change things. Unless we... Like, we don't need to say them out okay, there. I think we could all count. Uh -uh. Now the encryption key... Is a 28-digit thing? Okay, I got that. I got the... Sorry, uh, that that was quiet there. I should have read the numbers as I was saying, but only the one of them started is... with three. Look, we got two... Two... One. Two, one, four. Okay, we could do that. Two, one, four. We can count. It's it, it's fine. Uh, I'm, yes, I'm good at this. I'm here. Hello. Well done. That should buy us some time. So, how should we continue? Uh, don't you need more time to rest? I do. <laughs> I'm awake but now. There's no way I'm going to sleep now. Good, good point. Besides, nothing's stopping me anymore. The storm has subsided. All right. Let's not risk evacuating directly from the city. Should be safer outside its perimeter. That sounds fine with me. Looking through the photos of the nearby area, everything north and east of your location looks relatively safe. All you have to do is move away from this cluster of metal. So, should I go back to the ship? Am I going back? That's an odd question. Of course, you should come back now, even more than ever. Very concerned for your safety, Doctor. I'm concerned uh, no for be. your interests. I'm fine. All right, and with that, I am going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you guys next time where we're going to drive our way out here. We're going to make our way back to the vessel, and we're going to see if the astrogator wants to actually kill me or not. But I will see you then when we're going to do that. Bye.